Hello everybody, my name is Gadam, welcome back from the video of Humankind. We're going to continue this series. In the last video, we went ahead and created uh, an outpost, boys, another outpost. Uh, this one, though, is eventually going to become the second city that we uh, so desperately need. Uh, the problem is, though, uh, we still have lots of uh, downgrade in terms of influence. We're not gaining as much influence as I would like. I mean, it's getting up there. But every time I have enough influence, I'm, uh, I end up using it. Last time I used it, I used it over here in order to um, to get myself, I guess, an outpost. Or actually, no, it was over here. I uh, Yeah, I just used it in order to get the horse resources because that's going to allow me, basically, in the city to uh, get the horses, boys. So get the scout riders. Scout riders are going to be a lot powerful, a lot more powerful than the actual regular riders. Uh, so that's why I want it in the first place. Uh, the, the real problem is uh, right now that um, I, I can't get enough influence per turn. And uh, because of that, I can't uh, get there in time. I'm just going to skip a turn, but I can't get there uh, in time in order for me to actually get it done, right? Uh, to get a city done. It takes so much influence for me to get an extra city. Uh, it's kind of frustrating. So we need another turn, just another turn for the stone rings to finally be completed. It takes so long for that to be completed, but we're finally out of depth, boys. We got some gains, so that's really good. Uh, what we're gonna do, though, with him, I think, is just keep exploring, right? Yeah, we want to keep exploring, so let's just head over there. It's gonna take a while for us. There's a lot of rivers right here. So a lot of, uh, lots of places that I need to work on, I guess. Uh, I think the best course of option is not actually building cities. It's just having one city and the rest is having a bunch of outposts everywhere. Because at this point, it seems like um, I, I'm not having such a good time uh, getting these influence points, like I said. So uh, let's just go over here. Oh, there we go. There we go. Perfect. We're actually going to go there. We got uh, an extra curiosity point. Uh, some extra gold from that. We just got to find more more of these, but they're going to be hard to find, boys. So we got a holy site right here. So we gained 100 uh, fame from that just be for constructing that holy site. So it was definitely worth it, it looks like. There it is. There is the holy site giving us a lot of faith, stability. Now, it did take 20 turns to complete, but once it's done, we got that extra fame and stuff. And now we're already at first place once again. Uh, I can actually, with that, um, do ISD, so Cultural Blitz. Can I actually do that? That's going to cost me money, right? If I do that, convert, boom, just like that. Yeah, convert it all the way up. I guess uh, we're starting to convert it, actually. And we're actually even starting to convert this right here. So this is why it was saying that uh, it, it was in my tiles, because I'm at 60%. 60% of these tiles... Or kind of on my religion, on my society and stuff like that. That's interesting. So we still got 83 points right here. Got a lot of points from that, which is fantastic. We got uh, my soldiers. Of course, I need to move. Oh, uh, there's a battle coming in. All right, let's do that battle real quickly. It seems like we're getting attacked. Not sure from where, boys, but uh, we'll see real quick. Let me just put this guy right here. What we're going to do, hey, there we go, is we're going to block that path. So we're going to block that path right here. And obviously get my archers from behind. Oh, it's actually just some regular soldiers attacking me. Okay, first, uh, they do have, it looks like some uh, some defenses right here. So they do have that. Uh, I do have my archers though. So I can finish them off as quick as possible. I can shoot some archers. Now over here, I think, well, they're not that defended anyways. Okay, so we're going to attack them. There we go. Just like that. Combination, just kill them all like that. And we've got my two combos. I'm actually going to be able to kill them in one shot, I think. Yeah, just with this unit. And there it is. There's a quick and easy battle right here, boys. We're well protected. So they tried to attack us. And uh, we won that one. So uh, there it is, I guess. Okay, keep it moving right here, actually. Yeah, there we go. We're going to do that uh, that battle, boys. Uh, let's do a manual battle again. I, I'm going to keep doing manual battle battles. It's much better. So we do actually have reserves. So reinforcements, interesting. My scout counts as a reinforcement. Okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, let me, let me though, uh, send what I'm going to do is these guys. Yeah, I want these guys to be switched together. 
yeah these guys need to be switched together and i think uh i think that's fine so we're gonna do that what we're gonna do is we're gonna start shooting at uh at them there we go we're doing a lot of damage we are gonna attack these guys together there we go get that animal right there there we go that animal is done and we're gonna attack uh that other animal right here so i think that should kill it yeah in one shot that unit is really strong look at that star and stuff really strong so we got uh 10 of gold from that so we're getting some battles right here but i do need to heal up my two units my warrior units right here so here's what we're gonna do boys i guess uh, we're gonna keep exploring right here with this unit i'm gonna keep going towards that place uh trying to uncover as much land as possible right here i got something going on right here oh yeah i do have a project that i need to work on right here there's another two turns remaining before i get an extra populous over here uh once i get the extra populous i'll probably send it over to the science part uh because i really needed the science to go up start going up right here so we can probably use one of the population that i've got in order to uh, get some extra scout riders but right now i feel like um i'm doing all right in terms of military units and it's costing me money anyways every turn every uh, the more units i've got so i think i really want to work on my districts and i can actually work on the animal bars which give us more food more food means more populous faster boys which is definitely something i want to do animal barns is the thing that is going to take me the less amount of time uh flood irrigation would be great as well though because it would allow me uh, yeah, i'm going to go for flood irrigation first and uh we're already okay so we are working on that yeah so flood irrigation just because it's going to prevent uh exactly what it says irrigation from coming in and destroying everything right so uh we don't want that to happen it's gonna cost us a lot of money holy shit well, we're gonna have to wait the 11 turns i guess it's gonna be 112 points i'm gonna need in order to get the arbor right here which i'm definitely gonna get uh over to that outpost so i think we are good we can keep moving right here there we go we're already in the next turn it looks like okay so i think it loaded i'm pretty sure we're 10 turns remaining for that what do we want to do exactly with that unit uh do we want to i should probably just create outposts everywhere to be honest a bunch of outposts everywhere because the best thing it can do is give us extra extra stuff extra stars and all what i'm going to end up doing is just keep uh going towards that land towards the north as much as possible i'm going to uh, cover the morph as, as much as possible right here i've got my other uh units right here really need to heal them up in order to do that i need to go back here heal my units up but i'm pretty sure i can just go here first though there's probably some more units or more things to uncover yes there is let's go over here boys so, well, more stuff kind of and there's another battle waiting for us right Barium here so curiosity yes i know all about that my guy stop talking about these independent people already know about them so let's uh let's uh go right here no doubt this okay so we're gonna start yeah open confrontation rights, boys we're at war with these guys basically we're at war with them right now so let's do manual battle so uh i want these guys over here these guys are gonna be all the way there now it's not a great place to be at but i think i'm gonna send my archer right here i think he needs to be as further away as possible i i do not want my archer to be attacked that's the job for my warriors to be attacked right here seems like they have i don't know what that is that's a really good unit and it feels like i first time for me seeing that is that like a spearman or something it could be it could very well be all right let's uh let's attack these guys with my archers there we go feels like you kind of need two archers at this point uh, uh with this army there we go with my warriors we're gonna finish these guys off there we go and now i've got uh, this unit right here so we're gonna start attacking we're gonna start attacking right there go 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 attack them we're really gonna need to heal up though that uh those assaults i know i've got a really strong army but i'm gonna need to heal up because my soldiers are really gonna get uh are really getting weak right here i don't want to lose any of them or anything you know they're uh, they're really powerful at this especially not my scout or my warrior unit right here so let me go over here uh i'm gonna go ahead can i actually yes i can shoot him so i don't need to waste 
Like, I don't need to waste health points or anything. So, uh, there we go. So, we are good. We're doing good right now. We're gonna have to stay stationed. And we're probably gonna be able to ransack this place. There doesn't seem to be any armies. It's a big city. It's well developed, as you can see. Real well developed uh, city right there. So, that's good for them. Unfortunately, for them as well. I'm there to uh, ruin their momentum right here, big time. So uh, that's pretty much that. Let's skip another turn. So just like that, we just got another extra population right here, which is fantastic. They always put it in industry. Now we've got minus two food per turn. Not good. We got too much population, it looks like. Uh, so we uh, need, absolutely, we're going to need to put that guy in there, I guess. So that's unfortunate, yeah. We're gonna need all four of our populace to be in the uh, in this uh, place right here. So that's very unfortunate right there. I guess we got way too much. So uh, we're getting too much money, I guess. Well, I, I need more science. Next up, what we uh, do want to do over here. Do have uh, enough points right here? I've got 144 points. I'm gonna start, uh, yeah, I'm gonna start doing this right here. So uh, I'm gonna build... I'm going to get the market right here. So I'm going to get myself a, an arbor, actually. It's not a market, it's an arbor. So which one will give you the most stuff? It's pretty much all the same, so we're just going to get it right here. Your first harbor. Fishing, trade, voyages of exploration. You will see many things out of this tiny window onto a huge world. Very first arbor right here, which should give us in terms some money right it said it would give us well it does give us more food i guess so that's what it give, uh, gives us i guess so whatever uh, whatever that means so uh we got something else going on we got like a, a special thing going on one hiddle army this army i haven't moved this guy yet so we need to move him uh towards there and i'm actually gonna uh, move towards the east right the here that they have horses and siege engines might indicate their preferences as a neighbor. Okay, there we go. Assyrians, boys. So we a uh, new, basically a new uh, population, new civilization. We just uncovered them. I actually don't know. It says that uh, we've uncovered them, but not sure where they could be. There's another place right here that we can literally get. I think I want to finish these guys off first. So let's go there first. There we go. We're going to finish these guys off. Uh, ransack that uh, place all together and afterwards we're gonna ransack this other place it's like as many areas as possible so I don't know where the Assyrians are at let's interact with them uh, though we definitely want to interact with them all right so there they are boys there's the Assyrians Agamemnon uh, let's see so the Assyrians have just proposed to improve your relationship uh, absolutely let's improve our relationship let's accept that we're obviously gonna accept their offer uh, they have closed borders. Uh, let's see. Ideological uh, uh, proximity. It's kinship. So that's pretty good. They're hesitant towards me though. Trade. So uh, I do want to get some open borders. Maybe an integration pack, my guy. Just an integration pack for the beginning. Would be fun, right? Oh, for uh, in order to convince them, it would uh, we would have to. Uh, to get the extra gold and stuff. All right, so we're gonna keep it as it is, I guess, because I don't have the extra gold. They've got four era stars. Oh my God, look at that. We just got passed by a whole lot. Look at that. Is that the Assyrians? It's not them, right? No, that's not the Assyrians. The Assyrians are fourth. Uh, we're second. We're doing really well. And all of a sudden, one of the civilization, I don't know which, that, which one that is, it just got a hate all the way up to 820 points. How did that happen exactly? That makes no sense. These guys are OP as hell, I guess. All right, so uh, let me just go to the city. Obviously, we're going to attack it. So we're going to siege it. All right, there, there's a siege. So prepare your assault. The siege begins. You may review your balance. Okay, so we're going to maintain the siege, boys. Uh, which allows us to do other things in the meantime. We still got another eight turns for the flood irrigation to be completed uh, One more turn or nine turns in order to get an extra populace For this outpost and right about over here. It's gonna take 17 turns. I can't get rid of it Otherwise, it's gonna get in the minuses. Yeah, so over here. What about here? Oh, we do have a population right here. There we go So we do have an extra population giving us extra science 
uh, industry, food, all that good stuff. So that population is uh, doing just fine. We're going to save all of my... I'm definitely going to save all my points though at this point. Just so I can actually get into... Um, uh, get into the uh, 320 mark for, for, to get my city. So uh, there we go, boys. So we're still sieging them. We're besieging them. They don't have any actual soldiers remaining, I'm pretty sure. I guess uh, besieging them allows us to get more strength for stuff. I'm not sure. Let me... Um, let me go over here. I'm going to give them as reinforcements. I need them to be there as reinforcements, actually. And you're going to be my reinforcements. So I need as many people as possible. And basically starve them out, right? We, we need to starve them out as much as possible. I'm going to keep interacting with this guy. Let's get some, uh, I, I guess, you know what? Propose an alliance. Things he did it accept. You give it, uh, you refused an alliance, really. So you refused to be allied. Uh, I'm gonna demand it. Let's see if he accepts. He uh, refused, I think. And now you've met the Mycenaeans. Let's hope relate. Unpleasant as these demands. Okay, so we've met another uh, civilization or something. Tigris discovered. So the Assyrians discovered the stunning Tigris River, of course. Yellowstone discovered. Good. Assyrians yielded. So we are now allied with the Assyrians as well. Matter the so we have co uncovered a brand new. Uh, populace, diplomacy, oh, all of them. They knew about all of these populace, so now through them we know everybody else. Oh, that's really good. So, uh, some trades and stuff, okay. Let's do custom unions, my guy. Propose. He's gonna refuse, of course, uh, doesn't matter. Let me see if he's gonna accept my demands. Uh, refuse my treaty, that's fine. I'm just gonna, there we go, I'm gonna get rid of it. So, we are allied at least. There's that. Everybody on the map, we basically know of them at this point. Now, I don't know who's who. Basically, the, these are the guys right here. We're in this style right here. Okay, so we know a lot of people now. Interesting, boys. There's a lot of people that we need to talk to. We're all the way there. And uh, the Assyrians, they have a unit right here. Not sure where the Assyrians are by themselves. Uh, I, I already connected with them. I already talked with them. Let's talk with everybody else just to see what they're all about, boys. So these are the guys that are the most powerful empire right now. Greetings, so the Egyptians, okay. Do you too so the Egyptians, no uh, I'm going to introduce myself. There we go. There we go. Let's introduce ourselves, boys, to the Egyptians. Uh, trade. I'm not going to ally myself with anybody. I'm just going to propose some trades here and there. There we go. The accepted. That's perfect. That's fine by me. Uh, that is done. Share maps. Yeah, I'm going to keep it as it is. What about you? So these are the uh, Mu Goying or whatever. So uh, let's see what they're all about. They don't seem too uh, too much of a threat, to be honest. Uh, we are at peace with them. They're hesitant. They have a little bit of war support, treaties. Let's do uh, trade luxuries, my girl. They accepted, of course. They're going to accept. Uh, everybody's gonna accept my trade luxuries. It makes uh, it makes sense, boys. I'm not gonna ask for open borders on anybody. I just want to get trade luxuries and everything uh, with everyone so far. I just want to introduce myself. Uh, Agademesh, okay. Treaties, let's do trade luxuries. Accepted, of course. With that, man, we're gaining a lot of diplomacy points from that and stuff like that. So that's really good, you know. And they know of me now, so they know what to do. Uh, they've got some lead and stuff. We can't buy any of those things, though. That's the problem. I can't buy uh, these resources. Now, I don't know who these guys are. Let's see. The Beowulf. Okay. Let's see. Babylonians. Okay. So, ba Babylonians right here. Let's see what we got. So, we got the treaties. We introduced ourselves. Let's go ahead and do open uh, trade luxuries. Just like that, boys. Fantastic. Uh, we've got, last but not least, these ones, which we're going to introduce ourselves to the Macedonians. Now, the Macedonians, we're going to trade with them as well. There we go. Accepted. And that's about all I can do, really. Uh, the rest, not so much. I don't really care too much. So. The treaties. Per se, I'm not sure which one. She's hesitant. So she's a hateful person, I think. Open borders. We can try open borders, I guess. Let's try it out, boys. They uh, accept it. Yeah, they're going to accept if it's for money and stuff. So, there we go. We got open borders with them. 
which is a really good thing. So open borders, that's completed. Uh, that costs us a couple of influence and money though to do that. So that's about all I can do really with them. We gotta head back like that. There we go. So uh, the there's only one more populist we don't know of that we don't know who it is. So uh, we gotta keep that in mind, boys. So let's keep it going right here. We still got a war effort to go on uh, right here against these independent armies. Uh, they're eventually going to actually get out. Oh, they've got some reinforcements coming by right here. They actually have some reinforcements, which is very scary, boys. Not going to lie right here. That's very scary. So these guys, I want to keep them there. Yeah, I want to get uh, I want to get them there right here. Organized warfare cannot be done. Its action is locked. Organized warfare. So I, I, I don't know how to how to uh, mobilize like that. That's unfortunate. So I guess because I can't do that. I'm not going to attack these guys. Yeah, I'm not going to attack these guys. I'm going to stay behind because they've got a lot of armies and stuff. So I'm going to keep it chill. Before these guys come in, I should probably attack them. It's another three turns before they get uh, out of the siege though. Uh, uh, hopefully they don't attack me. Hopefully I'm going to have enough time because I really want to siege them out and stuff. What are these guys doing? They're really close to my outpost. I don't like that. I do not like that. Do we have a non-aggression pack with these guys? Hopefully we do. We got six turns remaining for the irrigation stuff. Yeah, don't attack me, please. All right, that's, that's the only thing I'm asking of you is not attack me. Please don't do that. Let me uh, let me just see really quick. Is there... Uh, are we... Uh, do we have a non-aggression pack with these guys? We don't. So they could literally attack me. And there they are 8 filled. And I don't have time to go to war with these guys right now. I really don't. So look. Let's chill a little bit. Alright? Just chill. Non-aggression pack, please. Just chill. Chill. Don't... You don't need to be super annoying like that. You really don't. Make it the man. Not a, oh, come on, dude. You're really gonna refuse right now. You gotta be shitting me right now. This girl is annoying. Is an annoying piece of shit. That's what she is. She's definitely gonna try and attack me. Mark my words, boy. She's gonna try and attack me. She's gonna attack my outpost. I'm gonna be forced to mobilize back all my armies that I've got. Like, come on. Like, give me a break. This girl is really annoying. She really is. Pinkoya converted to a new religion. There we go. So uh, they converted to my religion. The uh, Arapans forgave a grievance. So a grievance has been forgiven. Oppressing uh, the faithful. Okay. Uh, foreign war declared. The Macedonians declared war on the Babylonians. Okay. So there's a war uh, going on. Uh, ongoing ransack. So uh, they are actually ransacking me. So they have declared war on me. I'm pretty sure. Uh, that is just great. So let me send my army right here. I Not much I'm going to be able to do with these guys. But, uh, you know, at this point, there's not much I can do anyways. So, all right, let's see really quick. It's it's still another two turns, right? Yeah, still another two turns for the siege to be completed right here. So I cannot get rid of that siege. I do not want to get rid of that siege. These fucking assholes are attacking me, which is super annoying. I gotta try and convince my neighbors to attack them once again. Uh, these guys, right? Who are they? The Phenocians? Phenocians, can you attack these guys, right? Maybe they can. Oh, these, that's where they come from. All the way there. Okay. Uh, now, I've got some allies. These are my allies right there. Uh, but uh, let me see really quick. So, what about the Phenocians? I want to try and ally myself with them. I'm going to ask them to maybe help me out right here. Let's propose an alliance some sort. Uh, attitude change. Phoenicians now feel differently about you. They're pleasant. New grievance available. What, the, what does that mean? They're pleasant with me. So they have cordial relations with you. Okay. But they refuse to be ally with me. All right. I'm going to renounce that. I'm not going to piss them off or anything. Uh, that's fine by me if they don't want to be allied. I guess they're not going to be helping me out. Who the hell's going to help me out then? These guys? Don't tell me these guys are the only people that can help me out. Uh, they're needy of me, so they're uh, they're in a bind and have come to looking for help. Yeah, they need help from me, so I, I, I don't get it, boys. I really don't get it sometimes. Now I'm I'm all alone basically. I can't trust any of these civilization. 
who is really going to help me out? It doesn't matter if I'm friendly to them because they're just going to end up backstabbing me in the back. Like, what the hell, boys? All right, let's go back to the city. I think there's an event yeah, going on in the city right here. So how much turns again for the population? 14. Oh, another 14 turns. Damn, it takes a long time. It takes a long time to build uh, yourself up in this game. I swear, boys. All right, well, I guess we can go right here and do the events. The flooded lands. All related deluge of rainfall lashes down upon the great city of Aojing and the surrounding lands. If the rains don't stop soon, the banks of the great river that, that treads through the city will burst, flooding the adjacent quarters. With, with limited time and resources, the choice are stark. What do you do? Oh man, I was working on flood irrigation as well, to, just to prevent that from happening. It happened right before I could build it. Damn. I don't have the money for that. I'm going to be in the minuses again. How many times are gonna need to be the minuses? I guess I'm gonna be the minuses. I need I I need money, boys. I need to spend that money. I need to be in the minuses, so let's be in the minuses, I guess. That's very unfortunate. So we're once again we're in depth. Unbelievable, boys. We're strolling like crazy right now. We're not doing too good. We're really not doing too good. Okay, so they're in two turns. I'm gonna basically lose my outpost right here. And this was my city. This was my plan location for the city right here. Bankruptcy, I know. It hurts my stability, basically, the bankruptcy. I hate it so much. They received non-aggression pack. I'm going to accept. I'm gonna definitely going to accept that. All right, so they, they want a, a, a trade. That's fine. In one turn, I'm going to lose my goddamn place. This is annoying. Get the hell out of my place, man. This is my area. What are you attacking me for, man? I thought we had an agreement. I Look, I attacked you the first time. I made it a mistake. I lost the war. I Ever since then, I've literally paid you reparations. And now you're attacking me again? What a bunch of assholes. I still need one more turn for the, uh, for the siege to be completed, boys. And afterwards, we're going to be done with that. It's so annoying. It really is annoying. I'm just going to lose my territory like it ain't nothing, boys. Let's skip another turn and uh, let's watch as... As our future plans for a city right here literally goes up to uh, to shit. So, all right. So change of reputation. The new burns have gained renown as merchants. Fucking a. Uh, World of the Empire's known reach of the Almex. So we now know of the Almex, which are all the way there, boy. So that's the last population right here. I'm gonna need to create another outpost once again, right back where it was. Uh, I am gonna have some big time grievances on them. After what they just did to me, that shit is annoying so much, man. All these wasted points. They just literally did that to me. So we besieged them. Uh, I guess it's time to do that. Oh, oh, okay. It's bringing them down in terms of battle points. Uh, right. Uh, let's just open that battle point, boys, and start assaulting them. At this point, it's, it's a 50-50 it's situation. Uh, they've got, uh, Levi, they've got one army. Let me just assault. Let, let me just assault them. There we go. Now, they have reinforcement. Does that count as reinforcements? Hopefully not. Hopefully they don't count as reinforcements because I'm going to lose my mind if they do. Uh, I'm re I, I really am. Let's, uh, uh, get these guys like that. Just like that. Now, they are reinforced. That's the problem. They are reinforced by fences. So, that's what's going to give us a lot of problems, boys. And I think if they have these reinforcements right here, we're going to be in lots of problems. So, with these guys, I'm obviously going to start attacking them with my arrows first. Trying to, like, literally hold them down as much as possible. There we go. Go in. Go in and attack them. Okay, just like that, we got them. There we go, we won it. Victory of the battle. Mutiny. At, what's again, a rebellion will occur if you don't raise its stability. Okay, acknowledge. The Assyrians forgave a grievance. Okay. All right. So there it is, boys. So this is my city now. All right. We got a second city just like that. When you attack a city, we actually gain it yourself. There it is, boys. We finally got a second city. Unbelievable. All right. Now, my city is very much unstable, boys. Um, we got a mutiny going on, uh, probably. In one turn, we're going to get another populace, which is fine. So we need to work on that uh, place as well. Uh, balance policy. 
city growth all day every day boys obviously we want to go for city growth but now we're gaining even more because we got a second city that's fantastic that's what i wanted all right what we're gonna do here is the, so a lot of stuff we can get pottery workshop all that's good stuff boys right pottery workshop would give us more influence per turn uh, that lumber yards, all that good stuff that we're already built. We are going to need the palisades. Absolutely. We're in a big time catch up. We're in a war effort right now, right? We're stuck in the middle of nowhere. Uh, but the problem is right now, we need a little bit more outposts to build up that city right here. So we're going to create a couple of outposts just to build up that city even more. We kind of need that, the public fountain, to be honest. But that's going to take 37 turns. It's kind of a waste, boys. It really is a waste right here. Uh, so uh, I think Pottery Workshop is going to take less time. So we should probably do the thing that takes less amount of time, to be honest. So yeah, that's uh, that's going to be very tricky. I'm going to heal my units up, obviously. Uh, these guys are in my territories. Yeah, they're aggressive. These guys are peaceful, it seems like. But uh, these guys are aggressive, so... Uh, I've got this army, right, uh, this city right here. So uh, an extra city, which is definitely helpful. That's really good. Exactly what I, I wanted. So we can forget about the outpost. I actually don't need that outpost anymore. So now we got two cities going on, which is fantastic, boys. If I do that, uh, it's still going to hurt. Yeah, so I still got to keep it like that. All right. That's fine by me, boys. Like I can't attach this, these guys to uh, to this city right here. Yeah, can't attach it to that. So I there's a lot, a lot of things I can do with this one. It's giving me extra food, uh, industry. It's giving me money, basically. That's all it's giving me. It's money. But if I can't attach it or anything, if I can't do anything with it, there's no real use to it, right? It's no real use to it. It's not like I can really raise it to the ground, though. I gotta keep it. So it is what it is, I guess. What about the civilization right here? That civilization. I'm going to go ahead and introduce myself uh, to them. The Olmecs. There we go. The, uh, they're introvert, it looks like. We're going to get some uh, trade luxuries. There we go. We're going to do that with them. Why not? And that is done. I need to keep my points. I need to keep my points right now. So what about these guys right here? Can I interact with them? Yes, I probably can. Yeah, right. Spend some money or spend... Uh, some influence in order to make them on my side they've got uh the assyrians which are really up there in terms of influence so uh we've got that going for us i guess we're attacking uh quite a bit so these guys i want to stay friendly to them i don't want to be at war with them or anything what about the nox the nox i still have a little bit of influence over them the problem is they have all the influence in the world for them so they can really tell them what to do which is annoying so these guys are peaceful uh if i ask about these guys they're peaceful as well so it really is just these guys right here right war with we got to finish them off i'm going to heal up my units right here uh work on everything else really a bunch of outposts uh, across the board and uh once that is all done i guess we're going to be fine so we're going to leave it right here boys remember to leave a like and subscribe to the video i'll see you guys for the next one keep it easy